So, all right, so we are, we are recording. Well, Giovanni, thank you very much for uh, being here today. This is, this is such an honor. I, um, and one of the, the many ways that I wanted to promote um, the new book, um, Beyond the Shell, The Journey to Stay You, I had to have you a part of this conversation. Um, and so, and, you know, so it's like sometimes when you get a, a new book, you're, you're just so excited um, and you don't know what to, to do with it. Like it's like a new baby or something. Um, so before we get started, um, just tell, um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Hey, Bill, I am so thrilled to be with you today and, uh, and really be part of the agent that helps to promote this book and your story and what's in your heart and what you want for others. I mean, it's a, for me, it's a very special, for me, it's very special. And I've gotten a chance to know you for a number of years and that you will make me part of your book and a character, an important character of your book. It's a real honor for me. It's, it's you know, I can't thank you enough and I'm going to be thanking you for the rest of my life. It really makes my life special to be part of your book, really. Thank you. Well, I, I, I definitely appreciate it. And the, the, the biggest thing, you know, for a number of years, I've been having this conversation around, you know, labels and living beyond our labels and really um, a discussion around um, identity and self-awareness and, you know, all the way to self-love. And, and, and to be honest, I really hit that level of clarity for myself when, um, you know, after I met you, um, there's, there was a reality of, you know, who I thought I was or who I thought I wanted to be and the expectations around that. Um, and then realizing that living my life through those expectations, you know, um, could only go so far. And um, and so I'll, I'll show you somewhere within the book of how I am, um, uh, how I depict that. But um, but yeah, but I just I I I just wanted to acknowledge you and rec recognize um, and recognize that. So with his thrill, thank you so much. Right. Well, no, and and and, and I appreciate that. So. Okay, the the journey to stay you. Um, what, how does that land for you? What is that when I when I came up with that title? Um, I, you know, sometimes titles just come to me, and I just uh, you know I'm just going to run with it, and it is um, it's a part of the journey. So what what is what does that mean to you when you when you hear that? I I think um, it. It's a very big thing to get. It's a very profound thing to, to get my head around and to help people actually get a deeper sense of what it means to be you, the, the journey to stay you. I think it was, um, you know, there is a, there's a comedian who I, uh, I really like his style of, of creating stories and bringing comedy, which is Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. And the other day he was, uh, getting a, he was getting a um, an award for a Mark Twain Award, actually. And one of the things that he said is that he was quoting Miles Davis when he said, for many, many years, I have been practicing how to actually play like myself. Hmm. And, um, and, then, and then Dave, Dave Chappelle said the same thing. He's been practicing for many years to be able to find his own voice right like who he really is and and the journey to stay you is about that is that um for me particularly it's been really really difficult to find my voice to find my own self-expression right and um and and it's, it's difficult because the tendency is to try to look for heroes and to match them and try to look for people Right. who you want to become like or, or try to take the advice of so many people you admire mm -hmm. and in some degree they're guiding you in a healthy way to be like they are and um and that's part of the journey that's part of the process however at some point one gets who's in this journey of, of being successful is in the journey of being free one gets that it's about 
actually allowing yourself to be who you are, right. to allow yourself to be you. And that, that really opens up a Pandora box of success, of, of self-expression, of contribution, of influence, of, you know, so many things that actually when a person finds out who they are, it's it's possible it's available right. for them absolutely no and thank you i i um I, I really got that you know the second book starts off right after the charge of the um the other teacher of you know so go be you um so you know will has this really um empowered encouragement i am just going to go and and figure out who that you is um, and, you know, and just tried all sorts of things. And then, you know, he goes home um, to his neighborhood and to his, and, and to his family. Um, and they're like, you, you know, no, you're, you're, you know, you're not all those other things. You're this, you know, you're, you know, this is who you're supposed to be. Um, and it really took Will off of, you know, his game. It really kind of created this, this disconnect of how can I be myself um, and be with other people, <laughs> you, you know, be with my family and be with, you know, in the neighborhood and not be, you know, as we say, odd or, you know, or stick out and, and all that other kind of stuff. And it was very th throughout the book, just really, um, I don't want to say discouraging, but there is there is there is that moment where okay, all right, I need to be with my my family, with my neighborhood. I need to not try to be more than or better than what other people think of me. And is there is there something where you where where you think that that comes up in in your coaching or in, in your in your life where people make themselves small? So they um, uh, they don't stick out, and they and they don't up um, you know upset the the what, what expectations that people have of them. Yeah, and then it happens more often than not. Actually, most people that I get to coach are dealing with. They don't say it this way, mm -hmm. but a lot of them are dealing with how to get outside of the shell that they grew up in and they don't really say it that way right. what they say is i want to grow my business right right or what they say is i want to have a relationship or what they say is i want to start a new relationship or right. i want to end a particular chapter of their life right but it's all in under an umbrella of i'm going to stick around what's familiar with me even though i even though i i know there is more to life than what I've been living. Right. No, it's, and, and, and that is, um, you know, that was something, you know, from my, my coaching with you and just kind of realizing that, that, you know, it didn't, it didn't feel like a show because it, sh it shows, as it shows in, in the book throughout the story, there was a comfort level. You know, we talk about everything is beyond our comfort zone, right? Um, and in our limitations, in that umbrella that, that we create, we create comfort. You know, we, you know, we put up, you know, decorations and, you know, make this a very a comfortable place to be as we are not living our life, as we are not <laughs> showing up fully. And so it becomes this, um, this balancing act of, you know, is this okay to live my life in this level of comfort within this um, this comfort and this discomfort at the, at the same time. And so I wanted to show that, um, you know, within the book and with within Will and to, and there was a, there was a moment um, around the time when your character is introduced um, of there's this darkness, there is this shaking, there is this, you know, this turmoil that is happening in his life. And all of that, um, you know, is depicted within, you know, a page or so, but it's over years. Many people, many of us live um, in the darkness or the unaware of our life, of our situations. Um, and 
you know, or looking for uh, mentors or coaches or, or people to kind of help us, you know, see our way out of it. Is there, is there, is there anything that you can speak on about um, when people get to, I, I guess, when they're ready to be coached? When they're when they when they achieve a, a breakdown or see something, then it's like, okay, I gotta do something. Well, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna answer your question, but let me give, let me give it a shot. Okay. So I see it on both ways. I see in the ways that I've had in the in the in those occasions where I've had people come into my life and made a real difference for me, mm -hmm. where I have invited them to do that, and there are times where I have not invited them to do that and they still broke the shell that i had for them and they made a positive influence in my life right a positive shift in my life and and i and for and for people and for other people it, it sometimes it's that way as well they are open and they have gone through enough sorrow and enough darkness where they're starting to say you know the way i'm doing things is not working right let me try something new right and and that's a very powerful day for people where they recognize for themselves that the water that they are swimming is really dirty. Right. Most people swim in a dirty water and they, they're just okay with it. And that's yeah. the, that's the, yeah, that's, that's, the, pond that's that, the water, right. <laughs> that's, that's the pond that this used to be in. Right. And so for me and for the people I get to coach, sometimes I'm invited and then sometimes I get to break through the shell that they don't want me to. And for the, but however, for the most part, for the most part, I'm invited. For the most part, people are going through something and then they ask a question in a way in which I know that they are open to a new point of view, a new angle. Right. And then they, they have access to a new life. It's, it's, um, it's, it's interesting within the, um, the book that I, I will I'll share and I'm still getting used, used to what the camera is. Um, you are introduced in a way that you're not invited. You know, you are, you are, are aware of something and you kind of stick your head in the shell and go, Hey, you know, this is, this is what's, this is what I see. This is what's going on in, in your life. And that, you know, and, and Will has, I don't want to say all of these excuses, but there's reasons. Hey, there's a reason why I'm in the shell. This is why, you know, this is, um, this is where I believe that how I can live. And you're like, all right, you know, if you can, you can stay here, but if you value your life, you're going to be out, you got to get out of here. Um, and yeah, so and I think when, when you and I were working together, I, I was invited to look at the shell, but not inside the shell. Right. Wow. Yes. And so, uh, so that was what allowed me to go inside the shelf was because you invited me to look at the shelf and how shiny it was and you know how long you've had it and how it worked for you right <laughs> i was able to see that inside the shell was the real work that you needed to take on that that was the the big journey for you was to get outside of that shell right and so that's how it was from an invited place to an uninvited place right and, um and I was so glad that you 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 opened up a little. Right. It's 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 amazing that you said that until you, until you said that I I it I really got that I did invite you to look at the shell, you know, <laughs> you know, and you know even though I I I knew that beyond that beyond the beyond the shell is you know was the possibility. I wanted in some cases I wanted to fix the expectations tweak you know the expectations and all that other kind of yeah, stuff yeah. um to to kind of to to make this comfortable life um that i thought i was creating um even better um just just in general and just have a little fun with this um so what how does it feel to be uh, a character in a book what do you uh, what, what do you think of and and especially as the eagle there's, a, you know, there's all these animals I could have picked and I picked the eagle. Is there, is, does that resonate with you? Is, was there another animal that uh, you, you wish to be? You know something, uh, the character is, is, an eagle is very cool, but if it would have been an elephant or it would have been a lion or it would have been a snake, <laughs> it's, not as, it's not as important as the part that it's taking. 
Got because it. It, 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 the, for me, the, the part of bringing a perspective that makes a profound difference for the rest of the life of Will, right? Mm -hmm. that, was so, that was so uplifting for me. That was so powerful for me. It's a, it's a landmark in my life. It's like, I, I will always say, oh, you can always find me in this children's book, <laughs> you know, and I can always share the story about it and, and, and you allowing me to be part of that. It, it's, it's an honor. It really is an honor. It, for me, it's a lot. And you know something, because, because when I took on allowing myself to become a coach and look at this industry and see if I could really make a difference, um, it, it's a very scary journey, you know, because you, you, you don't grow in this industry unless you make a difference. Right. And so people's, people's success are your success, really. Right. So, um, so being part of your book, it, it is, uh, it is it's an evidence for something is working. And, and it's really great. Here, here's, here's another closing question because, you know, I'm, uh, um, I, I aspire to be a, a more, more successful coach my, myself. And it's, it's that fine line of just giving people the space to um, to grow and to learn and to be aware uh, and making a difference. And sometimes you, you um, I believe we don't want to get too far in it. You don't want to kind of manipulate the, the situation, but just create the environment to do that. What, what do you think the biggest challenge is, uh, uh, you know, about being there for your coaches and, and, and making a difference and, 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 and you say that a question again. I lost signal there. What is the oh, biggest challenge? That what? The the biggest challenge of um, basically making a difference, or and not or not being too much of a puppet master or trying to telling people what to do. Because too often people want just tell me what to do and I'll you know everything will be fine. And coaching, um, I don't believe is is that it is making people aware of asking the questions to do that so well here's one here's a thing to 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 uh, point to most people don't do what they're told <laughs> so and i so am I, one of those right <laughs> yeah myself you know so a good coach or um experienced coach knows that it, it's not about telling people what to do because they're not going to do it in in many ways many times what it is about helping people see how they are in their way of what they want to do and if people see it for themselves like they're able to see for themselves that they are the ones who are sabotaging themselves by not doing what they know to do great then um they, there's that moment when they actually choose the actions that serves them best right and that it that takes some skill to do for a coach some practice also it takes being coach for a while like i the coach i became was certainly uh because i was able to begin to master being coachable right Got like on. for many years i had a lot of coaches and I first I went through the years where I didn't do anything they said they told me to do nothing. I questioned everything. <laughs> right. I didn't believe them. They, I, you know, I thought they were <laughs> sneaky and they had a hidden agenda. Right. And then, then I started to recognize, oh my gosh, what they're telling me, it actually could point to something new. I'm just not doing it. Right. And then I started to recognize, oh, I see. And I noticed that some coaches had the language that would have me discover things for myself. Right. And some of them would tell me what to do. And the most effective ones were the ones that helped me discover things for myself. Wow. And so then that, that was my journey in the world of coaching. If you will. No, that, that is great. And that's where, um, you know, I, I end this, end this book um, it, with Will. It's like he slowly began to feel happy about living outside you know of his shell forever and just that awareness and, and recognizing realizing that hey 
um, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to continue to go there. And it, and it took the awareness of, of the coach and someone to, to kind of to see that because, um, you know, even though there was a level of discomfort, there, there was comfort and there, there within that, there was a resignation that that was the life, you, you know, and to, um, to have Will say at the, um, at the end of the book, I am more than my shell. Um, to really, you know, embrace that and, and move forward is, um, is what I want, the, the message that I want people to get, um, you know, out of this book. And, and the, um, the other thing that I, that I wanted to, to share is that um, the main reason why it's a children's book and having these conversations or um, that is that so people can get it. So it can be simple enough, even though there's a complex things happening, be, you, know, you know, within the book, um, is making it as simple as possible that you can read it to your kids and they can, they can get it on some level and you can help them through it, but have an adult or, or a young adult really get that for themselves and make some, uh, you know, different choices, um, and you know, to 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 really gain control of their life and seeing where there are shells um, or there is a shell in their life that is keeping them from living the the big life that they are meant to live. So, is there anything else that you that you want to share? I you know, I could talk to you forever, but I you know, I I, I know that that's that's not in reality. Um, Thank you. I think um, the only thing that um, was coming up for me while you were speaking is this whole concept of happiness. Hmm. And, and I think that it's important to, I think it's very important to keep reminding ourselves that happiness is not something you find out there in the circumstances. Hmm. Happiness is really an art that one begins to discover by understanding that happiness is not something that people get or you get or I get by getting certain results. Mm. Happiness is a function of how to be with the way things are and the way things are not. It's how to relate to the way things are and the way things are not. I, um, I have been very blessed in my life to go through a journey of living in Colombia, uh, being born there and, and in a particular segment of society where it was, you know, it was, we didn't have a lot. We didn't miss a meal, but we didn't have a lot. And then um, moving to Belize where it was a real developing country and then moving here to the U.S. where I started selling newspapers at traffic lights and, you know, going from one place to the other one and, and, and getting into some really bad habits. And then having going through all of that and then eventually being able to achieve a place in where I find myself in, in some success and some comfort, uh, comfort and being able to get appetizers if I want to and desserts if I want to and do whatever I want if I want to, right? right. And, um, and I went back to Colombia a few years ago, two years ago, and I went to a farm that we have. And these were these are really primitive ways of living. They have they barely have a light bulb in the house. People still live with with candles, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and I noticed that the people who take care of the farm, right, they had this sense of happiness hmm. with the way with the life that they had that I didn't have. Hmm. You know that I didn't have access to. They were like really present to the sunset and really present to the sunrise and having a real connection with the animals. And I and I knew that they didn't know all the things that I know about computers and about marketing and about business and about self awareness. I knew that that I had an edge on that, but they certainly had an edge of being happy. Mm. And so, um, so I, you know, it was, it was very difficult not to be confronted with that notion, that reality that happiness is not about results. It's about 
a place where you come from, right? Absolutely. So I, I, I wanted to add that because um, it was just, I was very present to, to Will's journey about Perfect. happiness. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, can you share any of your social medias or way that people want to contact you? Yeah, thank you for allowing me to do that. My uh, face, probably Facebook is the best way to reach me, which is um, Coach Giovanni Gonzalez. Coach Giovanni Gonzalez, then, then you find me. And on Instagram, uh, I don't even know what my Instagram username is. <laughs> I think it's biz coach Gio. Biz coach Gio. <laughs> right. So you need to go there a little more, I guess. <laughs> but coach Giovanni Gonzalez, you can find. Right, well, wonderful. A chance to meet well, well, a lot of people that way. Well, thank you very much. Your um, your book is 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 on the on the way, and I and I look forward to. Um, um, Doing it in another language, you know, possibly that is that that is something to you know to have the uh, geo the um, the the ego in uh, in Spanish or you know or something, um, so um, you'll be internationally known. So, but thank you very much for your for your time. You can pick up the book on uh, IamWilliamBrown.com. Um, thank you very much, and we will talk with you soon. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. Thank you for making me part of your journey.